Hi, my name is Laura McGuire. I'm a physiotherapist at West's Fourth Physiotherapy down in Kitsilano. I have my master's degree in physiotherapy and I'm also an FEI dressage rider. If you've ever had your riding instructor tell you that you have tight hip flexors, which are the muscles in the front of the thigh, this is one way to check. You can do this over a few hay bales or over a table or a bed at home. You want to lie on your back with your bottom as close to the edge as you can get it. Bring your top knee right up to your chest and you are looking to see what happens. Allison here is practically picture perfect where she has a 90 degree angle at her knees and her thigh is quite horizontal. Tight hip flexors would look like this where your knee is above the hip and if you have extremely long hip flexors, you'd be stretched down with your knee below horizontal. So if you had tight hip flexors and your knee came above horizontal there, we would need to stretch them. To do that, you can go into a bit of a lunge stance. And the most important thing with this is that you maintain that core beating on. A lot of people will really arch their back, you show a big arch, and this isn't great. This isn't going to give you the best stretch for your hip flexor and it's going to be harsh on your low back. What we want to do is keep your pelvis tucked underneath of you, your tailbone drawn towards the ground, and you should feel the stretch in the leg that goes behind you. Hold for 30 seconds to a minute, at least three times per side in order to see a big change. If you actually have long hip flexors and your knee came below the horizontal there, what you want to do is actually strengthen them because a lot of people will tip forward like this and it look like they have tight hip flexors, but it's because they're actually weak. In order to strengthen the hip flexors, a great exercise for riders is to stand on one leg, have that core engaged, your balance over that standing leg, and you're going to lift your knee up in front of you is the first step. If you're feeling great and that you're accomplishing that well without wiggling, without losing your balance, you can go a straight knee up in order to get a little bit more strength. You can also then turn and also bring your leg out to the side and this will help you engage those glutes a little bit more and the hip stabilizers, but it's all about having that independent hip from the pelvis.